the ships in Starfield are looking incredible, especially the ridiculously detailed cockpits. In this video, we'll be looking at every Starfield ship cockpit shown off so far. Here's the first cockpit, it's manufactured by the company Teo Astroneering, as we can see on the ship customization screen. You can mix and match different parts from different manufacturers, but each manufacturer has its own sort of style, and the Teo stuff looks to be sleeker than the other manufacturers. We can see this nice rounded shape to the glass here, and it's pretty roomy as well, at least the specific cockpit we can see by Teo here is with a lot of space to move around in. Some of the other cockpits you'll see on this list are pretty claustrophobic and just have a chair and a dashboard, but this one here is more like a captain's bridge, so it's a great cockpit for bigger ships. Any ideas? Next up, this cockpit is the Magellan, and for me, it looks like the most Starfieldy cockpit we've seen. There's a good reason for that, of course, it belongs to the very first Starfield ship Bethesda showed off. So there's actually a very good chance this is our starter ship, the very first ship you get access to in Starfield. That means it's probably one of the most basic cockpits with not much room or functionality to it. But the good news is when you're upgrading your ship and bolting on new cockpits, it's only onwards and upwards from here. This cockpit model is made by Nova. What immediately springs to mind is how protected it looks with this sort of framework lattice at the front strengthening the glass panel. It's blocking a bit of your view, which I don't really like, but hey, if it means there's less chance the glass cracks and you'll get sucked out into space, I'll take it. We also get a good look at how the cockpit functions when bolted to different sorts of ships. So here's how it looks on a long, sleek ship, Check out the human for scale here, and here's how it looks when attached to a stout multi-story freighter looking ship. This one looks like it has a lot of storage space. So yeah, the Nova manufacturer looks like it makes these sorts of more utilitarian, no frills cockpits. The next cockpit is made by Demos, and for me it's the most blue collar cockpit in the game. And by that I mean look at the front of it, it looks like the front of an 18 wheeler. You're less expecting to see a pilot in the driving seat here than a man in a trucker cap. It's not even bothered with looking streamlined or anything like that, it's just one flat panel positioned straight on with no angles or anything like that. It just doesn't care about looking good. And despite being pretty long, this Demos model looks pretty small and narrow with just enough room for one person. There aren't any interior shots of this thing that I could find, but I fully expect this to be a single seater cockpit. Demos doesn't just make small cockpits though, because check out this thing. This is massive. So big, in fact, that in the game, it's referred to not as a cockpit, but as a bridge. We can see in the zoomed out view, there are two seats, so you can fly around space with a first mate by your side. Another thing to mention is the improvement you get to cargo and crew stations. With this Demos bridge on the ship, the cargo increases from 58 to 300, and the crew stations jump from six to eight. So more room for storage and more room for crew. This 
cockpit is produced by the manufacturer Stroud Eklund and I've got to say this is my least favourite cockpit. It's just so boxy and uninspiring and I hate how you can just see rivets all around the window. You might as well be driving a Ford Fiesta. I can imagine this looking rubbish on any ship you place it on, just dragging down the style massively. And that's the main thing to think about when designing a ship really, style. So yeah, I don't think I'll be using the Stroud Eklund stuff very much. Okay, this is more like it. This is a cockpit that really reminds me of a World War II fighter plane. The design sort of funneling your vision to a central point straight ahead, almost like you're looking down the barrel of a gun, where some of the other cockpits we've seen look a little dull and are more for those who just want to have a quiet life hauling space rocks or something. This one looks like it will be for those who want to engage in a few dogfights. When I'm building my Naboo Starfighter, this is the cockpit I'm going to use. And lastly, this cockpit is absolutely huge, the biggest we've seen so far. It doesn't have a name or a manufacturer at this point, but look at the size of this thing. This bit here is the front of the ship, which shows you just how far back you can situate the cockpit while still being able to fly. It looks more like an aircraft carrier than a ship, so I think we can safely call this a bridge rather than a cockpit. It really shows you just the range of experiences you can have in Starfield, whether you want to pilot a nimble single-seater fighter around space or command a massive hulking vessel and live out your Star Trek fantasies. Those were all the cockpits we've seen so far in Starfield, but these are almost certainly not alone, so there are loads more Bethesda is keeping under wraps. I'm really looking forward to ship customization in the game, and I cannot wait for September 6th when the game releases. Thanks for watching the video, and for more Starfield vids, give this one a like and subscribe to the channel. Any ideas?